Okay, so in the last video, we created a really killer ebook cover image that we're going to use on our lead capture page and downloaded it from our Pixel Maker FX uh, program. And it, it gets downloaded as a zip file. So in order to unzip it, I'm just going to click it on my Mac. It's a little bit different on a PC. You will be able to figure it out, I promise. Um, so it's going to unzip that file and then I can go and show in Finder. So that for you, if you're using a Windows machine, it would be a little bit different. So I'm going to just open that file up. I don't know why it didn't unzip. It actually did. It unzipped three times. Okay, so we've got our ebook cover in 3D, right? And it gives you a large, it gives you a medium, and it gives you a small. So the small is pretty small, 330 pixels by 345. So I'll probably be using the medium. It's a little bit bigger. Um, now what I'm going to do is actually switch back over to Chrome. And I'm going to go to Entreport because I'm using Entreport to create my landing page. So I'm going to click on New Landing Page. And if you just hold on a second, I'll show you how to do it in Lead Pages too, just in case you're a Lead Pages user. And I'm going to go to Create New. Okay, so it's finding me a whole bunch of different pages. I can actually go by type, and then what I would want is a lead capture page, right? And so I could find one on here that I like, but what I'm going to do is just start from scratch just because I like doing that sometimes. And I'm going to type in here, this is going to just be demo uh, lead capture. Got to name it, just like in lead pages. So here I'm going to add a block. And in this block, I'm going to actually add, let's add this one. Kind of looks like a good ebook cover. And I'm going to click on the image here. I'm going to edit. And I'm going to change the image. I'm going to upload. Browse my computer to go and find those image. And it's going to pop right up. And let's go with the medium image and click on open. OK. So now I can select that image and select it again. And you can see that it fits in there just nicely. And I can say done. Now for the banner in here, I can change this to say, um, let's say top 10 tools to automate your business. Okay, so I'm gonna go to full screen mode just so we can see it a little bit better. And underneath here, I'm going to get rid of this little blurb just because, uh, well, let's say, All right, so I'm going to save that. And instead of having this start living button, I'm actually going to get rid of the button. And I'm going to do that by just clicking this little switch and turning it off. OK, and I'm going to click on done. Now this looks OK, um, but what I want to do is actually add a block. And now what I'm going to do is go down to find smart form because I want to add a form to this. And it's going to give me all these different options. I want something nice and simple. So I'm just going to go with this one right here. Now, if I put that in and I didn't like the way it looked, I could just click on the next and it would just go to the next one and the next one. But in this situation, I think that this looks just fine. So I can go up to page style here and colors. And you can see here that this is these are the different um, page styles that, that I have here. I, these are the colors that I typically use, but Entreport has already defined a whole bunch of great color palettes that you could choose from. I'm going to go with my regular color palette right here and click on Save. And what that means now is that I can go to Done, and I can click on this block. Oops. And I could change the color configuration for the block usually for some reason it's not letting me do it right now <laughs> anyways it looks fine so i'm going to leave it at that and i'm going to go to form settings and now i've got my options here right i could use any uh, any thank you page that i want i could use a default thank you page i would probably put in um, 
I would probably create a new landing page that was my thank you page, in which case I could say create new landing page, or I could type in thank you and pull up one of my existing thank you pages, if you have one. Uh, I'm going to just delete that though, and I'm going to leave it on default landing page. Of course, you could also use a page of your blog, you know, if you wanted to send people, um, for example, if you were going to send people to that link that we created for the, uh, let's go back over here to our ebook, right? If you were going to use this link, for example, you could send people directly to it so that they could just directly start reading it if you're using Beacon to create your lead magnet. So that's one additional way of doing it. So I'm just going to leave it at default thank you page. You can make the, the call on which one you want to use and then you would just choose your sequences. And if you're an Entreport user, you probably have tons of sequences to choose from, no doubt. So I'm just going to save that and click on done. And then what you want to do is publish the page very much like lead pages. So I put Mars Marketing and I'm going to just, whoops, I'm going to put Mars Marketing again and I'm going to host it on their domain. And this is a demo opt in. Okay, so that URL is available. It's checking for me. I'm going to click on Save and Publish. And then I'm going to click Save one more time up here. And now if I click on the Publish button, I can click this link. And you can see here that I've got this beautifully formatted um, lead capture page where people can fill out their information to actually get access to the ebook. Now, if I go back over here and let's just say I did go in to this uh, form setting here and I wanted to use a custom URL and I wanted to go over and get the this link right here that Beacon gave me, I'm just going to show you what happens. I'm going to put this as the thank you page, paste that in, and I'm going to click on save, done, and save again, just so that all of my changes get saved. And now when I click on publish and go to the page, I'm going to type in my name here. Whoops. So I don't actually usually ask for last name. That was kind of an oversight, but I'm gonna just, I'm gonna go with it for now. <laughs> you can choose to not use that uh, if you don't want to. And I'm gonna click the submit button. And now you can see that it is automatically delivering the lead magnet. All right, so it's taking them through. They can actually read the book here. They could click this, um, table of contents on the side, then they could click over here and they'd be like, yeah, I'm ready to set up my automated system. And then they could click here to get started, right? And they could take the next step with my business. So that's what I love so much about Beacon um, is that you've got these like really beautiful pre-done basically um, lead magnets that you can start using within like within the hour. Did you see how fast that was to set up? Now, of course, I did promise I would show you how to set this exact process up in lead pages too, so I'm going to show you that in the next video.